In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how you can take a video clip, break it up into rectangular segments, and then combine them visually in the course of your video. Let's show you what that looks like. In order to do what you just saw, we needed to define, first of all, what is our video going to look like. And so I needed to take a clip and drag it down on a track. We'll widen this a little bit so we can see better. And what I want to do is I want to take a copy of that same clip and drag them one on top of another for every single piece I want in my video. So what I have to do in order to do that is I have to define my video. I do this on paper because it gives me a better picture of how many pieces I want. So let's take the first one and we're going to click on the designer area above the tracks and I'm going to click on mask designer. Now for some of you with earlier versions of PowerDirector you'll find this inside of your PIP designer. It will be the third tab from the left. I'll click on mask designer and now I have my first track and I have to decide what part of the picture this will represent. To do that, I need to use my grids. I'm going to turn on my grid lines, and I'm using a 3 by 3 in this project. So with that selected, I'm going to go ahead and click on a rectangular square mask. I just click on it. It pops on the screen. I'll move it to the left in this case. But now I have to turn off a default feature. I need to drag down in my object settings and uncheck Maintain Mask Aspect Ratio. That will allow me to take it, drag this to the left, and drag this one up from the bottom. Because on the piece of paper where I've defined the picture, I've labeled these upper two left uh, uh, segments to be uh, part number one of my puzzle that I'll be pulling together. Again, you can use any size grid you want. You can make as many pieces as you want. The more you do, the more work it will be. Uh, but we're just going to show you this one for now. So now I have this one properly masked. I'll click on OK. And now I have that masked. Another thing that I have done here is I've gone to my area here where my, where my tracks are and I've renamed my track. Instead of video track, I'm going to call this one upper left. It helps me understand what's going on here a little bit better. So we'll get back into the track. Now I need to go into it with the PIP designer. So I can press the F2 key or double click and it will open my PIP designer. Now with the PIP designer I have to decide at what point in time do I want all of my pictures fully assembled. And in this case, let's just, let's just move over here to uh, 15 seconds. You could do it so they all assemble at the same time, or they come in and lock into their final location at different times. The timing's up to you. But I'm going to say 15 seconds is fully assembled. Then I click my position keyframe, my diamond, or I can right-click here, and it would do the same thing. So at 15 seconds in, this picture is in its final location. Then I go back to the beginning of my uh, uh, keyframe, and then I have to decide before that, where do I want my picture? Well, I'm going to drag it off and to the left here. I'll actually drag it lower so it'll move diagonally. And that gives me my position indicator. Another thing I might want to do is I'll right click here again, go back to this point in time. I'll drag down a little bit and I'll, I'll, write, I'll add a rotation element. So at this point, there's no rotation. It's perfectly horizontal and vertical. Then I go back to the beginning again. And on, on, on this clip, I'm going to twist it a little bit for here. And so it will spin and move in and lock. Let's play and see what happens here. I start out. Again, I'd probably move these keyframes a lot closer, but this part of the image spins in 
and it locks into place in 15 seconds. In fact, what I'd like to do, I'd like to take both of these keyframes and move them then. Uh, we need to get out of play mode here. Let's make this uh, five, uh, six seconds. And then I'll move this one to the same location. Okay, so we'll try this again. This will be a little more visually friendly. Okay. And, it, and you can also change other things like scale, opacity, whatever you want to. So that piece moves into place. Now I click OK. So now I have one part of my image uh, uh, ready to go. Then I simply take another piece. I drag down the same track. I'll put this video track here. Let's just do the piece below it right now and I have to follow the same procedure. I go into my mask designer and I need to put my grid line on so I can see what I'm doing and then we go up to our mask properties and I'm going to click on a rectangle again move it over and then we will have to undo the maintain mask aspect ratio in the property settings and we'll move it over here and we'll move it down here now, if you wind up with black lines between your masks, you can always make them overlap just a little bit and the viewer won't notice it. But I'll let it lock on the line there. So with the mask done, I go back into Video Track 2. And here again, I could rename it Lower Left if I wanted. And we move into our PIP Designer. And we go back into our... Uh, six second if I want it assembled all at the same time or I can stagger them into the final location and I set a position keyframe I'm going to also set a rotation keyframe then we go back to the beginning and we're going to change both the position and the rotation I'll take this and maybe this comes in from the upper left and then we'll move around two and we'll change a the rotation factor on here i may have to minimize this to see the little green rotation thing let's have it flip quite a bit here just for fun click on ok all right and so let's back it up we'll go to movie mode and we'll play it and we see the first piece coming in and the second piece coming in as well and they're assembled now here again I notice I have a little bit of a hairline here so the way to adjust that is I go back into either one I think I'll take track number two in this case double click on it whoops that got me into my pip designer I want to click on it once and go back to my mask designer and we'll just click on here and we'll just increase the mask a little bit. A little bit of overlapping won't hurt a thing. Click on OK. And now you see the line disappears. So you do this with each part of the project that you have. And when you're done, you see the results that we showed you earlier. It's a nice way to assemble a video visually on the screen for your viewers.